Talking today to Akindaliri Oludamola, who is the team lead of Connect Nigeria, um, Akinde, describe to me how the website started. Okay, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Russell. Uh, the project is a dream of a founder, Michael Carfor. It's been a dream he's had for over eight years now. Uh, but really, the project started for sure two years ago. And uh, I had a personal experience with a friend that uh, had his wife pregnant. And they had to go to four different places on a Sunday trying to get a scan for his wife. Unfortunately, the ones that even had a scan center said they had closed for the day. So if there was a central portal or platform where this information could have been accessible, it would have saved this couple the pain and time that they used to go to four different places. So I can say officially two years ago was when I felt there was a sincere need to have this information portal up so that Nigerians can find things easily. And what kinds of information do you currently have? I understand you have four different subject areas that you cover in some depth. Okay. Uh, currently, the Connect Nigeria is a, it's just like a shop, right? <laughs> you have everything in one place. That's the aim. Uh, the aim is to make information easy to find and easy to use. Currently, we have four sections up. That's the business, jobs, entertainment, and the articles section. In the next coming months, we'll be launching our community on mobile, and we'll be having uh, the classified section up, real estate, and auto. And to crown that all, we'll be coming up with the personals too. So the aim is actually to create a one-stop shop, a mall, a digital mall where you can find everything you're looking for. As of today, we have over 2,000 uh, details of uh, select profiles, artists and musicians that are local, that's Nigerian artists. Uh, filmographies and details of the, uh, whatever you might need to know about them. That's aside the over 20,000 businesses that we have covered. Out of this, we had over, we've verified over 10% of them. And within the next few months, this will be improving because it's a consistent effort that's been made to build the largest information hub in Nigeria. And how do you verify the, the business information? Okay, we have different means of verifying the business information. First, we ensure that uh, for any business to be verified, you either have to have uh, a registered domain name or you would have to send us details of your company via your, either your corporate collateral, letterheads, cards, or be willing to pay for fiscal verification, which would mean that we would have one of our staffs come over to your office and see exactly what you do and how they can add value to your business. How many um, unique visitors are you getting per month to the site? Well, at the moment, um, what I can do is, uh, because I haven't checked my analytics yeah. of recent, but I can tell you this, that within the last three months, a ballpark figure is that we've had over a million hits. Okay. And counting, as at this morning, uh, I can tell you that uh, the portal grew by about 16%. You know, and the thing is, surprisingly, majority of our traffic has come from within the country, but more surprisingly, mobile. You know, so we kind so of. So, what percentage of that million hits is mobile? About 30% of that hit currently is mobile. Yeah. Mobile is the second biggest thing we have on our analytics at the moment. And this is getting us really excited because our decision to set up our forum, our community on mobile, wasn't a mistake after all. Because it's a strategic attempt to flow with the wind of mobile and see how we can harness the social factors that connect us with our mobile phone. And what are you doing to market the site? One of the failings of sites of this kind is that, you know, people, it's always said that they will get word of mouth, but actually it takes an enormously long time. What marketing are you doing to get the site better known? Oh, yes, I, I completely agree with you, Russell, because uh, Nigeria is even though also a very peculiar society. <laughs> if you do not have a, a good marketing uh, team on board, it's difficult to get out there. But what I can say is, our growth has been organic for the last three months. We'll be, we will be launching a major campaign starting from February. Mm. And uh, our participation at the Mobile Web West Africa conference this year wasn't a mystic at all. It was just uh, another way of telling the world that we are open for business. And starting from the coming weeks, you'll be seeing more of our corporate collateral materials that will be heading out on the streets. And how in particular will you encourage more mobile access use? Okay, we have, um, we have set up an in-house team that is really dedicated to develop 
mobile applications and mobile functions. As of today, all BlackBerry users can download our bookmark, which with one click, you can mm. find what you're looking for in Nigeria, as long as it's legal and it's moral. And that's exactly what we're doing, to see that we get more people on the mobile platform. At this conference, we've been discussing with the likes of Nokia and Samsung to see how we can develop live tools that all mobile phone users that use uh, Nokia or Samsung devices can actually get access to the internet via this uh, bookmark. Also, we're working on an application that will run across board that, so that we can encourage more people to use the service and find things easy. Abkinde, thank you for talking to me today. It's really a pleasure.